CJ Carr. CJ Carr announcing uh, later on this evening, as a matter of fact, uh, probably about the time that this show goes live, he'll be announcing, and all of the crystal balls, of course, 247 does that, but the crystal balls are headed towards Notre Dame. C.J. Carr, of course, uh, grandson of legendary Michigan coach Lloyd Carr. And everybody kind of assumed that he was going to go to Michigan. All the family ties are there, et cetera. He is based in Michigan. And instead, the Wolverines don't land him. And it appears that it's going to be Notre Dame that gets him. Now, this changes a whole lot of different stuff. Uh, C.J. Carr is number 23 in the 2024 class. He is a five-star quarterback. Big time goods. Uh, you listen to Bud Elliott talk about him. He's he's got all the tools. So it looks like he's going to be a home run get for Marcus Freeman and the Irish. But uh, but that also changes a few things, right? Because everybody just kind of thought uh, that Notre Dame was the leader for Dante Moore, who is uh, one of the five star quarterbacks in the 2023 class. And we don't know exactly what's going to happen there now. Uh, does this mean that Dante Moore is now leaning towards Michigan? Still some questions about that as well, right? Michigan and Notre Dame both uh, somewhat tied in on C.J. Carr, Dante Moore, and then 2024 number two overall player, uh, five-star quarterback, Jaden Davis. So what exactly does this mean? Uh, We're going to have to wait and see, I suppose. I don't think that Notre Dame will stop uh, going after Dante Moore. The way that the transfer portal works, et cetera, Obviously, you want to get as many good players on campus as you can, and then you'll sort it out later. That Georgia does this, Alabama does this, etc. The cream rises to the top. It doesn't really matter the ranking. But in this situation, does Dante Moore decide, eh, I don't want to get there for a year, maybe not start, and then lose out on a job and have to transfer? We'll see, right? It all depends on whether or not these kids want the competition when they arrive at these places. Or if they don't. And I I find it a little tricky uh, what they're going to actually end up doing here. So Dante Moore, of course, down to, not down to, but he, he could still reasonably go to LSU, Oregon, Michigan or Notre Dame, Penn State or Texas A&M. Those are the warmest ones on his trail right now. And A&M is a, a recent one that he's kind of warmed up to. Uh, and I can understand it. I mean, you hear all the stuff that's going on in College Station I could certainly understand why he would be listening to them as well. But I I would have to, I guess my initial reaction was that Dante Moore would be going to Michigan. I don't know that that's the case now. I really don't. Uh, if, If I were him, I would look very heavily at LSU. You were already somewhat interested in Notre Dame, right? Everybody thought that Notre Dame was the favorite. But if you're not going to go to Notre Dame, why not go to the place or to the coach where the Notre Dame system was built, right? And I understand Marcus Freeman and whatnot uh, is really, really good at recruiting, but Brian Kelly has that Notre Dame system at a place that attracts more talent. I mean, let's just be honest here. So I I would look for Dante Moore to maybe look at SEC schools a little more, Uh, Jaden Davis, That's the one that I assume Michigan is going to land. We don't know what's going to happen with J.J. McCarthy this year. It's a very interesting, interesting situation. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.